Hello, my name's Brian Carmichael. I'm a police officer of the Westminster Police Force and I'm a detective inspector in the Professional Standards Department. I've been attending a six weeks um, blue light resilience course for mental health and wellbeing. I found the course very helpful because it's uh, enabled me to understand stress in myself, recognise stress in others, and to develop coping mechanisms to deal with them. If there was another one of my colleagues, a police officer, police staff, who was thinking of taking this course, I'd really recommend it. I'd really encourage them because they're going to get so much out of it. They're going to learn techniques that they can take into their personal life and their professional life. They're going to learn techniques that will assist with communication and allow them to resolve personal issues and professional issues and also will deal with issues before they become insurmountable. Um, and also, it will allow them to pass on the good word. It's a fantastic course and it will really assist in communication. I'm Chris Clark. I'm a police officer with Staffordshire Police and I work as a forensic collision investigator where I go out and um, investigate fatal collisions. I've been coming to the blue light training um, over six weeks and I must say I started with probably dubious beginnings by feeling yes this is a ticky box course say I've done because it is relevant in the police force at the moment however having been on the course I'm finding it absolutely inspirational it's not a question of going for the motions um, I feel like we've engaged in the course and really got something from it and now it's ended, and I feel quite sad because um, I've found it really useful over my, the, the month I've been doing it. What was good about it, I think everybody in this room from different services and different backgrounds and all brought something slightly different, although in a similar circumstance you could relate to. So as well as you were discussing your own issues, you could listen to other people's issues and um, I found that really, really helpful because it was totally relevant to the subject matter. I thought the trainers presented this course in an excellent manner, in the way that they started off a conversation and allowed the group to throw the conversation about, but were also there to offer guidance um, on technical information, but also to bring back the conversations of the subject matter in which we're supposed to be talking to, rather than people going off on tangents. I think sometimes people are reticent to get involved with something involved in mental health. People will get worried about what their colleagues will think. Um, I liked about this course, it was everybody in here when I walked in was a stranger, but of a similar background and I felt able to be able to say what I thought and also be able to listen to what other people were honestly opening up with. Um, and it's not a lip service course to go through. It is something I have found absolutely inspirational and almost life-changing in a way I consider my problems and how I can deal with them. I say I can't recommend this course highly enough and I'd say go to the point of saying it was uh, invaluable for somebody who works in emergency services to be able to understand the problems of stress and I think a lot of people are under stress and didn't even realise it and I think this course has given me the tools better to recognise those uh, as signs and a way of dealing with them. My name's Mike Jeffries, I'm the training manager for Birmingham Mind. Um, I've been co-facilitating with my colleagues from Birmingham Mind the Blue Light uh, Resilience Training Programme. Um, what I'd say to someone who's uncertain about signing up to the, the Blue Light course is that I um, really encourage people to take that step. We've, we've had people who've come on the course who said that they had to think about it for a long time, they were quite reticent, they had worries and concerns about what colleagues might think of them, even for signing up for the course when they told them about it. But actually what they found when they came was it was just really useful for them, it increased their confidence, they found very practical things that they could, that they could use. People are certainly told so they don't find the course just entirely theoretical, very practical, very day-to-day -day useful for them. And just the confidence that, that we've seen people grow and change, they really have got something out of the course. It hasn't been a box-ticking exercise at all, it's about real human beings who've 
built on skills, learnt new skills, and, and, and have said to us, in, in all honesty, they feel they've really benefited from attending all of the sessions.